Two years ago, I lost my son, Eduardo, that was 18 years old. All the meditations that I've done here, I have already done six meditations, are related uh, to my son. Beautiful meditations. I uh, really saw myself, like, how can I describe, not physically, but like particles in the space, floating in the space. This was already the first meditation that we've done here. And I saw, I imagine, I don't know, this came to me very fast, like, like I would be particles and my son would be other particles. And we were like dancing in the space, like making different movements, up and downs, and different, different kind of uh, shapes and forms in a beautiful way. It was like, I can say maybe a kind of meeting, a kind of, you know, to show that we can be integrated and um, without being physically at the same place. Another meditation, I saw myself um, exactly at the, the period, more or less the month that um, my son died. So I felt it was not my physical body, like a spiritual body, I don't know, but like lying down and very weak without forces to stand up. And uh, two of my friends that helped me a lot, that it, they became like angels, I don't know. They appeared like angels in this, um, in this meditation, helping me to stand up, giving me support to stand up and continue. So while this meditation happened, I kind of understood that this part is still inside me and that I had to work on this part, transform this part, uh, do something to heal this part of me that still exists, of course, because it's part of my life, part of my experience, so in a way or not, it's printed in my soul, I think. So I felt that I had to do something related to that, that something was going to happen. And I started, I think, opening myself because it became clear that it was still needed. So this was one meditation. Another meditation was my heart. My heart appeared in the space. And I felt the whole time that I had to heal my heart, that I had to, you know, send energy, different colors of energy that I had to um, make it inside, you know, uh, alive. And so I all the time in the meditation, I felt that I had to put my hands on the heart. And some meditations were all of them related to, to that. So taking care of the heart. And today, earlier, I felt really very, very, um, like a physical um, pain here in the middle, in the, the, um, the Timo uh, point of energy. It was like I touched it and it really hurt. Um, and I, I told my friend, Bettina, I said, uh, I don't know, it's really hurting. And it was after the meditation, I, I knew that it was an emotional, um, it was emotional, but it was physical hurting. And I start, started questioning myself what I had to do to, to work on that. I got very tired during the day, so I had to sleep. So I, I couldn't attend one of the meditations. I really felt that I had to rest, that I wasn't ready for the next meditation. So I rested, I slept for three hours. And then after lunch, I felt that I was ready, that I could go again. And that was really when the, it was the, the most powerful transformation meditation uh, experience that I had. So before the meditation, it was still hurting here a lot actually when I pressed. And I started the meditation listening to to Dr. Joe Dispenza, we were already talking about 
what we wanted and why we wanted. But in the meditation, it, for me, it was really a healing, totally focused on healing. I again saw these particles, imagining that it was me and my son, and like uh, sometimes we, we mixed the particles, me inside him, he inside me, and sometimes separated and like dancing, like a dance in the space, a space with nothing, dark, and we were the lights um, dancing. It was very beautiful. But then suddenly I imagined something like I was going up, 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 like up. And then I imagined like a place, I entered like a place, like it was like um, white, everybody in white, I don't know, like a healing place. And I was lying down in this very similarly the image of how I was before when I imagined that one year, one, um, you know, the, when my friends helped me to stand up, it was very similar in this situation, lying down, all in white, like um, really needing, needed to be treated. So there was like a light uh, around me and I couldn't, I don't see like faces or anything like that, but like there is something, um, uh, creatures, I don't know, I don't know, but it's like light. And it was like very clearly that, that I had to pass by a um, healing session, I think it was like more or less like that. And in this healing session, what appeared to me was that I, I should let, um, let it go, let my son go. I had already done some process with that but it was very strong because in this moment um, like they cut the connection in English I think it, I don't know in, uh, umbilicum connection I don't know how you say that in, in English but umbilicum they cut part. like the connection to to spiritual connection to my to my son so this was cut and in that moment, he was like liberated uh, in particles, always in particles. I didn't see his body or anything like that. I just imagined that it was him really, he was like flowing away, flowing away, and I had to see him flowing away. And when I saw that, that was when I got very emotional, very emotional. I started crying because it was like, you know, uh, I started missing him a lot and uh, very difficult like to say goodbye or it was very like emotional so I got very very emotional at this moment I felt that I had to hold on something so I hold it on the chair that was in front of me and I did like that and I hold it with all my forces and I felt that this light that was around me they gave me strength to sustain this pain because it was a lot of pain, a lot of pain, a lot. And I felt like I was uh, sweating. I don't know, I had to, you know, the pain was so hard, so strong that I had to hold this chair with all my forces. And it was like I was liberating something from my body, liberating, liberating, liberating. And I was crying and liberating, liberating, liberating. And then suddenly, I started getting a bit more calm. I uh, started to calm myself, uh, stopped crying. I still felt that this energy was around me, sending me good energy to, you know, to energize myself. And I started, you know, to, to feel that and more calm. And then I saw, because we had talked about the mandalas, I saw me like the mandalas in different, you know, frequencies, colors, and, you know, beautiful. And this is the new you. And I, I started getting more calm and more connected to this lighter energy. And I was thinking about what would be this new you, what I wanted. So uh, 
love, happy, I think, gratitude. So I, I really felt this connection to this new view because I was having a lot of difficulty in creating a vision of the future. I was living day by day and I was doing what I could do, but I could not, you know, dream about the future. I could not really look forward and imagine something. And I feel that uh, after this meditation, something really got transformed inside me. After uh, we finished the meditation, I, st I started feeling how I was here and it didn't hurt anymore, like it hurt before or it hurt earlier.